What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Please email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. Uh, we here at Mother Trucker News want to give you guys an update about the May 1st protest. You know, uh, they said that over 1,100 truck drivers were going to come to this protest. Now, again, uh, that was from a gentleman named um, uh, Rick Santiago. Movement for justice is actually in full effect. I mean, it is taken off. I can tell you we have carriers coming all the way from, I have 500 different owner operators coming from St. Louis, Missouri alone. I do not know if he represents this uh, truckers movement or he was just trying to help. But uh, I want to give you guys an update of exactly uh, what was going on. Basically, 7 o'clock in the morning, uh, truck drivers were protesting in front of the Department of Tra Transportation. And their goal was to get the head of the FMCSA, Robin Hutchinson, to come out to talk to them to help make some changes. And actually, they were very successful in that because she came out to talk. I hope you hear it in your words. There's a lot of agreement between us. And I just want to say thanks for being here. Oh, can you please tell us? Go, can you please tell us? We're going to go now. But we really appreciate you guys being here. Can you and please, all the smiles that are coming along with you being here. Thank you so much. Can you please much. tell us when can we expect some answers? Yeah, we're going to we wait we years just, this time, like maybe weeks. We spent three weeks, three years ago in front of White House. Some of us did that. I was oh, there. That's great. And we heard something from previous administration. We, we had some promises. Here's some answers. We've kicked off a compensation study. We've kicked off a, stu off a study on detention time. I know those take a long time. That can be frustrating, but those are happening. They need to study the logbooks also again. We funded new truck parking. We're going to fund even more new truck parking in the coming years. We have launched two new committees so that we're hearing directly from drivers. The Truck Leasing Task Force and a Women of Trucking Advisory Board. These are actions that, that we've taken. And we... So... Those are my answers today. Thank you so much for coming, Earl. We're going to stay here anyway. Thank you so much. No, we appreciate you being here. Like God your bless stories, you guys. Your stories. We look forward to seeing some change. We need an answer. We need an answer. We need an answer. We need an answer. Thank you. Don't. Don't. Now, from the person videotaping, it sounded like she was disinterested. I mean, I'll let you hear this and let me know what you guys think about this. Like I'm out for what, 15, 20 minutes? <laughs> it's better than nothing than 15, 20 minutes. Not a lot of time. You know, um, someone from the movement asked, you know, when our change is going to be done. Uh, she did talk about the things that they put in order. And it seemed like she agreed with a lot of the issues. Um, now, would you say this was a success or not a success? Uh, Mother Truckers, comment down below. But just want to show you exactly what happened. Uh, appreciate all the truck drivers for uh, sending me links. And 100%, if this is something that you support, then uh, here's all the information down below. But just want to give you guys an update of actually what happened today. We're here to make money, not lose money. The truck you industry up, has changed over the 19 years that I've been out here. I don't know about everybody else, but have you guys seen any difference in this trucking industry? Big time. It's every man for itself nowadays. It used to be you can stop and help a driver. You can stop and help somebody with a flat tire. Yeah. You can stop and do this, and you can stop and take a nap if you're tired. You can't do that no more. These guys in these buildings are making our laws that has never drove a truck. They've never been inside of a truck. They don't even know what it looks like except for a video or a picture. And they're making our laws. No. I draw a good line with my boot. Thank you for the sticks, Brad, for these days. It's all right, Billy. Yeah, I hear you. 
see ya. It still serves the purpose symbolically. That's what we want. The line has been drawn. Check our power and our respect. Now, today is the day. All hours work. All hours pay. All hours work. All hours pay. All hours work. All hours pay. I get one for free. All hours pay. All hours pay. All hours pay. All hours work. All hours pay. the time we spend at the loading docks. We do not understand how the stationary building can set up appointment time for something that is moving. We are prone to traffics. We are prone to whatever happens on the road, mechanical breakdowns. We get appointments, but we miss it, not because we don't because we are... We've got the head of the F uh, FMCSA came outside to talk with us. There is a same truck in industry. We arrive early, we are wrong. We are like, arrive late, we are wrong. There is no truth. We always wrong. Somebody getting our money. We have no money to afford safety. We have to support our family. <coughs> what you guys do with the rules and regulations which you're not enforcing, you keep us out of business. Uh, to call for these people, we are required to get our rights taken away from us by the packet. It says, you waive your rights to 371.3. That's in the legal contract. And yet these companies, we all know it's a three-letter company, okay? We know who that is. They keep sending out these packets. We want to know why. Hey, you know, a breakdown, honestly, it'll put me out of business. It'll put me out of business. I've been on my own for six years now. But all it takes is one breakdown. I'm out of business. I mean, I got to save my own time. You know, and see my pay steady going down. So it's, How much is the oil change, sir? Uh, five dollars Man, you know so many, many things have changed. We out of home, days, weeks. I don't see my daughters. I don't see my family. Thank you very much. Now, when everybody go and get the trucks, everybody stay out because they want to get the trucks. The money's terrible right now. You can, you can request set up packages from any broker, mega broker like TQL, CH Robinson, JP Han, and smaller. Every single of them has uh, a, like a part where they waive our rights. And if we don't sign a contract, we're not going to get a loan. That's it. They're just pushing us to waive it. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. So it's like, um, it's pretty much miles, okay? So they pay dollar fifty. That's no money. Uh, no from money Tennessee to Texas, yeah. it's like today, Mark. So how much I have to put diesel? And the diesel is four, four and dollars. Like, uh, how much I have to drive for so money or yeah. so? Like yeah, I get like two thousand. Yeah. So we just we just ended up yeah. every trip. We are in Antirin, our fleet, and that's all. We want bailouts too. <laughs> and the same load, like one month ago, is maybe two dollars and fifty. Or I don't know. It's 
in your room. Like, hey. how you doing? Good. 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 My name is Sishma. That's right. Nice. I will come to you next time. I'm with American <laughs> who's trucking this way. Nice to meet you. Everything, everything is Asian. From the brokers, how we get paid. I know that I used to do, like, used to pay me like 1100 it's paying like 450 you know, 500 we, we, we should be a, like a middle class. You're a poor class right now. All you want. Yeah, yeah. My, my truck where you found one time, thousands. It's not 100, 200. I just blew a tire the other day. For them to come out, it took like five hours. They did it, three thousand dollars. So it's like I work, I work for free. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Appreciate you guys coming out here and talking. Yeah, sure. Okay. Really appreciate you guys being here. I've heard a lot from you and it's been very impactful for me and I really appreciate it. I've heard about driver pay, I've heard about issues with workers, I've heard about the lack of truck parking, which is something we're working on really, really hard. Uh, um, absolutely. I just spoke about this. One of our organizers forced to a law in Washington State and forced the Port of New Jersey to put that in the This time, the cries to shut down the country, I'm going to listen to it. And I'm going to hit the economy in two different sections. And it will devastate manufacturing in two countries and the food supply in a certain part of the country. We're not playing anymore. Hello, Mr. Better cut up on my way This is the start of a new day Feel fresher than toothpaste Singing out, this be the new thing New swing set I'ma go for the loop, man I'm a fruit gone loop